Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to repair and restore a cutting board. Super easy. This particular one is uh, European Beach. It's got a few spots where the, the joints have failed. Uh, I'll show you how to fix that. I'll show you how to refurbish the top. And toward the end, I'll even give you the recipe and technique for making board condition. So keep watching. First thing is, you have to have the right blade. You want a blade that's going to leave you a glass smooth finish, so you, when you put this together it's very simple. I'm using a Forest Woodworker 2 blade. That blade actually is a, is a very expensive blade, but it's the best blade in the market for cutting a glue joint as far as I'm concerned. I've used DeWalt and Avante and all the other blades out there. This one will do it first time, every time. It makes almost an invisible glue joint line. Great blade, like I said, link at the bottom. So I'm going to do that here and here. When I do that, I set my fence so that my blade, center line of my blade, is lined up with the center line of the joint. When I do that, the blade will cut out all the bad wood and old glue, and it'll give me two fresh surfaces that I can put together. And when I get done using this Forest Woodworker 2, you won't be able to see the joint. When I get done on both sides, my board's of course going to be a little shorter, a little less wide. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to show you how to put in some uh, character to this board. This happens to be a European beach, which has it's nothing but a white wood. Uh, but we'll add some character, and it'll be pretty cool. One thing I want you to note, make sure when you set your blade, blade height generally is about three blade teeth out, exposed. What that does is prevent injury or reduce the potential for injury if you happen to get your hand caught in the blade. Always make sure you're wearing safety glasses and safety uh, protection on your ears. These things get noisy and over long term, you could lose your hearing. Marine artillery, so my hearing is already messed up. Okay, let's get gluing. I've got my pieces cut out. I've checked them out. I have really nice glue lines. <clears throat> I want to make it a little bit wider, so I had some spare walnut that was laying around from another board. I basically trimmed it widthwise so that it's the same thickness as the board and cut, the, cut it to length so these base pieces will sit in like so and all you have to do is glue it up. So glue is really quick with this project. You're only gluing a few pieces. But be liberal, be liberal with the glue. This is, by the way, Tight Bond Ultimate 3, which is a waterproof glue. I'll say I swear by it because they use it for a lot of things. But be liberal with the glue. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is you want joints to be uh, fully glued. You don't want any, any starvation on the joints. And the other thing is, I'll show you a trick fill any spots that if you didn't have a really good blade, you didn't want to invest one. How you can actually get almost the same thing with a good sander. Like I said, make sure, make sure the glue is coming out everywhere. Really want, you really want to have a lot of glue on this. Uh-oh, that didn't sound good. I hate running out of glue in the middle of a project. There's still some left. I use 
these Bessies. Then you can choose any kind of parallel clamp. Okay, we're dry. Pull out the clamps. I think we did a pretty good job here. So these are a little proud. That's what I wanted them to do. Uh, so we have some scraping to do and we have some sanding to do. So let's get busy. So what I have here is a card scraper. If you see many of my other videos, definitely a, a, a proponent of card scrapers. You can see uh, one of my videos on how to sharpen and use card scraper. And I'm going to do that right now. This is a great tool to, uh, you see those nice curls coming up? Great tool to solve problems in your shop. It doesn't take too many strokes. Good. There are a few spots here um, on this side of where the, uh, the joint didn't come together completely. So I'll show you how to fix that here in a second. But we're going to start doing some sanding. Try and get this thing sanded down so it's uh, nice and flush. And get rid of any additional um, glue that's sitting here before we seal it up. Okay, we're sanding out, but to fill a few of the remaining cracks that I still have in here, what you do is take your glue, let it bead right along the edge where the crack is, some other implement, rub it in. The idea is to force it through the crack. These cracks are, these cracks are not very much, they're just a hairline. We want to get them sealed up because there's going to be water on the board. And the next thing you do is get it with a sander. Basically, you put it in the microwave in a glass container like this, 
half uh, pint jar. Heat the oil up for about uh, three minutes. Put in the beeswax, heat it up for another minute or two, stir it. Then do that until the beeswax is completely dissolved. Let it sit and you'll come up with a really nice buttery kind of uh, mixture here. And all you do is rub it on top of the board. And this mixture of wax and oil helps seal the pores of the board, especially on the end, the end of, the, of the board. You can already see that. Matter of fact, you can even see the commercial logo. This is actually a commercial board that purchased, well, back in the early, early uh, or late, late 80s. So this is a pretty, pretty old board. Make sure you wipe it heavily on the end grain. Try and get that end grain sealed up. This is where most of the water comes in. That's why you almost always find these failing at the end or the edges. Rarely you find a fail board that has a joint fail in the middle. You should do this every two weeks or so, depending on how much you, how much you use the uh, board. So I'm putting on that last coat of uh, board butter, and you can see it turns out really well. Once you wipe it off, the great thing about board butter, board conditioner, is you don't get the weeping. A lot of times when you oil, oil boards, they, uh, they weep oil for a couple of days, it gets all over everything. In this case, nothing happens. The wax keeps it pretty well sealed in. So, and there you are folks. Great little project, easy to refurb your, your uh, current putty boards. It's an easy project, even to throw in these little accents here, make it look a little bit better and a little more enjoyable. And uh, hey, if you got something out of this, hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified for my next uh, posting. And there's links at the bottom. Feel free to use those for the tools and materials and some of the information. And until next time,